Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to see about angular measurements. Uh, so till now we saw about surveying, chain surveying. You may ask why we should go for angular measurements. Uh, so the reason is uh, chain surveying will suffice the need when we have to uh, survey small amount of areas. When large areas are involved, we will go for a, a somewhat precise method of surveying such as angular measurements, using angular measurements. So uh, in angular measurements, we will measure uh, two things. One is direction and the angle. And for directions, we will use compass. The types of compasses available are surveyor's compass and prismatic compass. We look into this detailed in this video. Next is uh, ang to find the angles, we use sextants and theodolites. Uh, when uh, we use a compass, there is also another term involved which is called as traverse. Traversing is that type of survey in which number of connected lines form a network and the in that network, say this is our network. In that network, the direction of the line and the length of the line is known. So this is only called as traversing and uh, we will use this traverse to solve many problems uh, in sight. The first step of traverse is open traverse. So open traverse is, uh, uh, this is not an open traverse, an open traverse will look like something like this. That's all. Uh, the, uh, we start at a point and we'll end at some other entirely different point. This is called as an open traverse. Whereas a closed traverse is where we start at a point and again end at the same point. In this case, it forms a circuit. So while uh, the always the closed traverse is uh, uh, recommended because in closed traverse uh, the accuracy will be more and also uh, there will be many checks available. So this is about traverse and now uh, you, you might have noticed that when I'm telling that I'm going to find a direction of the line, I told that uh, I drew it in such a way that there is a vertical line and with respect to that I drew the uh, angle. So that is our next topic. What is a meridian? A meridian is the line of reference. In this case, this is our meridian. It can be uh, based on any properties. There are three types of, generally three types of uh, uh, meridians available. The first one is true meridian. Uh, the line passing through north and south pole. We know that we have a earth and we have north and south pole. The line passing through the north and south pole is called as the true meridian. And any uh, measurement or angle uh, taken using this meridian as a point of reference, any horizontal angle taken using this point of reference is called as the true bearing. Next is magnetic meridian. We know that uh, when we use a compass, when the needle is suspended freely without any uh, local attraction, it will point towards the magnetic north. That is simply the, the direction of the needle, the direction in which the needle is pointing is the um, magnetic meridian. It can be found using the compass as I said and any uh, angle, horizontal angle taken using this uh, magnetic meridian is called as magnetic Pairing. Next one is arbitrary meridian. This is a local point of reference. It can be a church, a pole or anything. Let me give an example. Uh, say I have a building here and I have a pole here at the top of the building. Uh, let me have a vertical line and in this vertical line I am going to place my theodolite. Uh, I am going uh, so I have to find the angle between uh, this pole and some object or building here. So I will set my theodolite or sextant here and using this as my uh, setting this as my point zero uh, I will uh, find the angle between these two objects. When I rotate the theodolite I will find the angle. We will look into theodolite in detail in the upcoming videos. Just giving an example here how arbitrary meridians are used. And we have seen that there are two types of compass available. Let us look into those in detail. The first difference is, there are many differences. The main differences are, uh, the first one is, the needle used is a broad type needle. Whereas in a surveyor's compass, it is an edge type needle. 
Next, the graduation card. The graduation card is attached to the ring, whereas here it is attached to the box. Next is bearing. The type of bearing uh, we take using these compasses are the first prismatic compass, it is whole circle bearing. In surveys compass, it is quadrantal bearing. Next, tripod. Uh, for uh, prismatic compass, we don't need a tripod, but for surveys compass, we need a tripod. Only with the help of tripod, we can be able to measure the angles. Next is taking reading. In a prismatic compass, it is very easy. You can sight and read simultaneously. Whereas uh, in surveys compass, first you have to sight and then you have to take the reading. So these are the differences. And from the differences, we can uh, summarize that it is easily understood that prismatic compass is uh, more easy to use. It is more user friendly. And in India, we use prismatic compass mostly. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please do keep watching to know more about uh, the whole circle bearing and quadrantal bearing. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.